everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you today. We're going to be making this grip shelf liner Halloween wreath. Now I tried something new this time and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I hope you enjoy it. Let me go ahead and show you how to make it. Here is a list of the tools and materials I used to complete the project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need one of these wood cutouts that you can get from the Dollar Tree. This is a witch in her cauldron. Uh, you can either paint this with just plain black acrylic paint or you can spray paint it. I'm going to spray paint mine and I'm going to be using Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint and Primer. And this is in matte black. This covers really well and you'll only need one coat. You're going to need a 14 inch wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And you're also going to need several packages of the Dollar Tree's Grip Liner Shelf Liners. Now these come in rolls of 12 inches by 5 feet. For this project, you will need three in the beige, two in the white, and one in black. So a total of six packages. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to cut your packages here. Go ahead and open them up. You're going to want to completely unroll your roll and then go ahead and fold it in half. And then go ahead and cut it right on the fold. that one piece aside. I'm going to go ahead and fold that again. And cut it on the fold. Go ahead and fold it again. Cut along the fold. And then you're going to fold one more time the opposite way. come out about this size and you will get 18 pieces per roll. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut up all my pieces and I'll be right back. You're also going to need one full package of pipe cleaners cut in half. Okay, and then to make your little bundle, you want to go ahead and take your grip liner and I like to uh, lay it out so that it's long ways this way. And then I grab in the center and just scrunch up. So it comes out like a little bow tie. And then I just take my pipe cleaner, wrap it around the middle. I like to pull that up. That way I can get that pipe cleaner nice and tight. Grab it and twist. That's your one little bundle. Okay. Go ahead and do another one. 
So you scrunch it up just like you would when you were doing a ruffle method. I really like working with this material. It does not fray, it doesn't catch, and it lasts forever. <laughs> so this is a really nice material to work with if you've never worked with it before. And then to attach your little bundles, you're only going to be attaching them on the two bars on the outside of the wreath. So you just want to place them here on the outside. It will take 15 bundles to complete each section and a section is between each of the crossbars. And the pattern that you're going to want to do is two beige, one white, another beige, and then a black, and then a white, and then you repeat. That way you have the exact amount that you need to get all the way around the wreath. And then to attach, just wrap it around those two bars on the outside, twist it over, and then just give it a little twist. And then I take those ends and I push them back up so that they're hidden. And then you push all the way over. Go ahead and attach the next one. Back the ends up and push over. Now it may not look like much right now, but once you get this filled in, you won't be able to see any of the bars. This is what it looks like after you've completed two sections. Now I like that it's nice and mixed. I didn't want too much black, so that's why I got only one roll. And that's also why I've done the pattern the way I have. Okay, so you have two of the brown or the beige, one white, then one more beige, then a black, then white, and then two more beige, and you start the pattern over again, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting all of these on my wreath, and then we'll be back. So I have my base all done. I'm really happy with how it came out. And as you can see here on the back, I only did it on the outer two bars. Now the reason why I did that is my witch is pretty big and I wanted to make sure that she didn't cover up too much of the wreath. So that way the wreath is nice and big and she fits perfectly right in the middle. Now to attach your wreath, you're going to need two uh, pipe cleaners and some floral wire. And I have some in black, but uh, you can use whatever you have. So go ahead and cut a piece of your floral wire. And then up at the top here in the hole where the jute cord was to hang it, I'm going to string the floral wire through here. And I just pull it to the back and grab it close and then twist it. Okay, so then I'll use that to attach to the frame. And then I'm going to glue pipe cleaners down here on either side. And I just simply add a nice dollop of hot glue and lay that pipe cleaner in there. And then I like to go back and add a little bit more on the top. Okay, so go ahead and attach your pipe cleaners and let that glue completely set before you attach it to your wreath. I have my little witch attached. 
All I did was feed through the pipe cleaners and the floral wire to the back. And you'll want to try to attach them to a crossbar so that uh, your witch doesn't slide around. You also want to make sure that you don't tighten it down too tight because you want her to sit kind of up on top of the wreath. To decorate, I purchased a package of these uh, little black spiders. They're rings. They come in a mixed package of orange and black spiders and you get a ton. All you have to do is go ahead and cut the ring part off. We're going to be using the black spiders. And then I also have a couple of these little black bats that I picked up last year. And then I'm also going to use one of these big black spiders. Nice and big. So this is going to be Mama Spider and all her babies. These little bats have a little clip on the back and that's what I'm going to use to attach these to the reef. And these little guys have a hole in them. So I'm going to run floral wire to attach this. And then all these little guys I'm going to attach with hot glue. I'm all done. I have all my little spiders down here. I have Mama Spider and all her babies. The witch and her cauldron in the center. And then I have bats around her on the top. I really like how this came out. I love how I have all the black over the wreath. I think it looks really great, but I thought it was missing one item. So I put purple lights on the back so it will light up. So you'll need one package of these LED Halloween lights. The color is down here and I chose purple. And over in the hardware section, you can get one of these little screwdriver sets because you'll need a really tiny screwdriver to get into where you put the batteries. And this takes two AA batteries. Now I attached the box with using these fasteners. I got these at Dollar Tree. Now they're sticky, but they're also Velcro. So what you do is you take this sticky side and you put the Velcro together place it onto your battery pack, and then place the other side over. That way when it comes time to replace your batteries, it comes off and then you can re change your batteries and then put it back on. On the little lights, I just used scotch tape. That way uh, if the batteries go bad, it'll be really easy to take them off and replace them. And that way I could tape the heads down in the direction that I wanted them to go. So then uh, all I have to do is turn them on and then turn it over and it lights it up. See, and then you get a really pretty glow from underneath from the light. Now I thought purple would look best, but it's up to you. You can do orange or you can do clear, whatever you like. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's craft. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you and your family are all staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day and I will catch you next time.